Hey everyone, I'm Laura and welcome to Book Bubbler. Today is Vlogmas Day 14, 15, 16. <laughs> I have a small haul today. Nothing very much comparatively to what I usually have, but I do want to get them covered. And I figured if I add this into my Friday reads, I've finished a lot of books so far this week. I finished five books this week. Uh, so I'll be taking more time with reviewing books quickly versus adding in a bunch of new ones. So here's what we have so far. This one is from my mom. It's the second in the Edie Kuglatuck mystery series, The Bone Seeker by M.J. McGrath. These are set in Alaska um, in Ellesmere Island. And there's a body that washes up in a lake. Um, yeah. Martha is uh, Inuit. No, Martha? No. Edie. Someone's Inuit. <laughs> I haven't read the first one yet, but um, they're very good. My mom read this very quickly and said it was excellent. So I have this one now. I also have the first one somewhere lurking in a stack somewhere. This, I'm so excited to have this one. This was a St. Nick present from Jenna's mom, Carol, Mom C. Hi, Mom C. And this is Christmas Christmas at the Island Hotel by Jenny Colgan, the fourth in the Muir Island series. I just like Jenny Colgan's writing. It's easy reading. It's entertaining. It makes me chuckle. Sometimes I get a little teary. You know, I, re I just really enjoy it. And I love the setting um, of the... Highlands? No. No, it's not Highlands. What is it called? Oh my god. All those islands that are so far up. They're really close to Norway. They're closer to Norway than Scotland, but they're part of Scotland. <laughs> oh, okay, these. Anyways, it's set on one of these islands. Muir. Mmm, Laura, your brain. <laughs> I had coffee today, too. There's no excuse for this. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, my friend Joy and I, our birthdays are both in the spring, and we usually get together at least twice a year, you know, once for Christmas to see each other and exchange presents, and then once around our birthdays, same thing. But with coronavirus this year, we just haven't had a chance. So we agreed not to do Christmas this year. We're tight enough with money as it is and haven't seen each other, so we just did, I just did a drop-off exchange at Joy's house for our, our birthday presents. So Joy got me a very cute little, um, uh, set of post-its that says like something about like shit I'm supposed to do and then I have this literary puzzle book which I think will come in very handy in the winter I really like stuff like this nerdy kind of crossword puzzles sudoku that kind of thing so I'm looking forward to starting this one and then this one which I've never heard of before but was highly recommended by our local independent bookshop Boswell and that is We Keep the Dead Close, A Murder at Harvard and a Half Century of Silence by Becky Cooper. So okay in 1969 uh, ba, 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 Harvard merged with a sister school Radcliffe and a graduate student in Harvard's anthropology department was found bludgeoned to death department was found bludgeoned to death in her apartment and then 40 years later Becky who was an undergrad um got curious about the story and decided to investigate so this should be super super good and I love that cover too <sighs> okay then I have my two book of the month books that I got um first one up is this close to okay by Lisa Cross Smith <laughs> so excited I'm throwing stuff around here um a uh, powerful yet vibrant novel about the life-changing weekend shared between two strangers. On an, an October night in Kentucky, recently divorced therapist Tally Clark is on her way home from work when she spots a man precariously standing at the edge of a bridge. Without a second thought, she pulls over and jumps out of the car into the pouring rain. She convinces the man to join her for a cup of coffee, and he eventually agrees to come back to her house where he finally shares his name, Emmett. So over the weekend, I guess, the two of them get very close and have lots of conversations. It sounds really interesting to me. I like um, time-constrained novels. This sounds like it is, uh, without being high stakes and super stressful. 
And then I have this one, which she's one of my favorite uh, guilty pleasure authors without being guilty pleasure at all. It's Christina Lauren, who is a best friend writing team in a holidays. No idea what it's about. One Christmas wish, two brothers and a lifetime of hope are on the line for hapless Malin Jones and in a holidays quintessential romantic holiday novel. I don't know. I just like Christina Lauren's writing. They're always entertaining and I can gulp them down. And I'm looking forward to this holiday set one. I'm hoping to actually get to it this holiday season. And I hope that me saying that did not just jinx it. And then last up is something I've had on my wish list for a very long time and just bit the bullet and bought a used copy online. And this is Blitzed, Drugs in the Third Reich by Norman Oler. Pretty much the whole Third Reich, aside from being uh, psychotic and mm, vengeful and violent and all the bad things in the universe, they were also like totally, totally high <laughs> a lot of the time. So I would like to see how, um, like what drugs were involved and how it was taken and who, like how broad it was. I, it just sounds really interesting to me. I, I Mm, I don't know why it just does. Has anyone else read this? It's been out for a few years. This was published in 2000 and nope. Why can't I find this page when I'm looking for it? I don't need a thousand praise things. Mariner books. That's great. Uh, 2015. Oh, it was translated too. First published in the German language as I'm not going to try and pronounce it. My German is horrendous by Norman Oler with an afterword by Hans Mommsen. So who was this translated by? Uh, okay, by Sean Whiteside. So looking forward to this one very much. Maybe this seems like it wouldn't be a book for me, but I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, this sounds so intriguing. So there we go. Not too bad today. Just seven books coming in. <sighs> Quite frankly, it I feel like it should have been a lot larger, but no matter, we all know that I have enough to read here in the house. So um, thanks for watching this little short little haul. Have you read any of these books? I am about a week behind on comments. I'm very sorry. Working on it slowly but surely, getting back to responding to everyone, along with trying to watch all the videos, which as you know, is just an exercise in futility at this point. I mean... I'm watching a lot. I just, I'm not commenting a lot. So sorry for the generic thumbs up, but I, I'm there. I'm watching. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're all doing well and um, I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.